hi guys, uh, my name is Frost, and today I'm going to be demoing for you guys <clears throat> a web document management system that I built um, for SFMTA. For those of you guys who don't know, SFMTA is the San Francisco Municipal Transportation Agency. Um, if you're not from the Bay Area, all you have to know is that they handle all public trans, uh, all public transportation um, in the city of San Francisco, buses to streets to bikes to pretty much anything you can think of. Um, pretty much what I built for them is a, um, a web-based document management system that uh, stores all their engineering documents, specs, um, I mean you can see it right here, drawing specs, reports, RFP, RFI, RFQ. Um, a system like this can be used for any type of documents, it doesn't have to necessarily be engineering documents, um, but I guess um, you know this is customized towards those type of documents right now. But it could easily be customized to any type of uh, document. Um, I'm gonna kind of demo it for you guys, uh, show you guys some of the new technologies that I'm using, and um, hopefully you guys enjoy. Um, so to start off, um, I tried to make it feel like you're not in your browser so it feels like a desktop application um, but the advantage is being you don't have to download anything you don't have to install anything um, you don't have to do, you don't have to do any updates or anything like that um, it's just easier for the end user um, you know you can pull out tabs you can customize your layout so you know some people like to search on the right some people like to search on the left um, you know if you don't want to see this right here you can you know exit out um, we'll keep everything here for now. There's also hotkeys. This doesn't make sense right now, but um, when we pull up some images right here, some new tabs, we'll use these hotkeys and I'll kind of go through um, the advantages to these hotkeys, kind of to what the requirements the engineers uh, gave me. Anyway, so let's uh, do a query. So we're going to click drawings. Um, and then as built, meaning, you know, how it's built on the street. Um, just something quick, you know, if you click specs or, you know, it'll filter out whatever is relevant to search for that certain document. Um, you know, if you don't turn it, if you don't fill in a field, you know, it'll, it'll tell you which fields you need to fill out, et cetera, et cetera. So there's, there's checks on the front end and the back end. I'm kind of starting on the front end. I'll show you guys how to, you know, import, uh, input data, input documents, um, put in the metadata. This is a, as you guys will see shortly, this is a very dynamic um, application. So press as built. I'm going to go to a sample uh, document. So if this is a drop down, these are all the documents that they have. Uh, contracts. We'll do MR0015. It'll auto complete their contract name for that. So this is cable car systems. Um, you can either search by contract name or, you know, contract, whatever, um, you know, that's just the option that they have. If you know the drawing number, which is kind of, um, for people don't, that don't know, it's just kind of like a, a serial number for a certain engineering document. Um, you know, their service lines. Um, there's no facilities in the system, but I'll, we'll add some just to show you guys how this is easily dynamic. Disciplines, say you click civil. It will show the relevant, uh, relevant uh, subdisciplines for civil. You do mechanical, etc. Um, we'll take get rid of those right now. Um, and then there's also some GIS stuff. Um, so sometimes engineers they want to search for all the you know all the projects that you know have affected a certain street or intersection. So I gave them that functionality. So for example, say we do Eighth Avenue. Uh, where's 8th Avenue? Right here. You get all the cross streets. And so we do Lake Street. And then you can search, you know, to California Street if you want to get, you know, you're on 8th Avenue um, from Lake to California, get all of the drawings in between. Um, or you can just get everything that goes through that intersection. You know, say you're working on some intersection. And again, this can be used for any type of documents. Um, you know, if there's some sort of geographical information tied to those documents and you guys want to search by that, that is also possible. <clears throat> so, 
Alrighty, so let's just do a search. You'll get thumbnails of the drawings. Um, these are all lazy loaded, uh, meaning if you have like a thousand documents, it'll only load the first five. Um, I'll kind of show you guys what that means. So if I go here to network, okay, I got to refresh my bad. So let's just do that real quick. So let's just do drawings as built. I think it was one zero zero five. All right, search. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five drawings got loaded. As we scroll down, you see how it's loading them as we scroll down, meaning it's not going to just load them all at once and then crash your system. Um, you know, it just makes it that much more efficient. So you get a little thumbnail of your of your document. You get the contract name, contract drawing. Um, you know, you could put any metadata you want here. That's easy, easily customizable. Um, press on the document. It'll open up a new tab. Um, you know, you can drag it around. And so let's just go through um, the little options you have here. So you have this enter full screen mode. You know, you can enter full screen to view your document. You know, you can zoom in, move it around, whatever you want to do. You know, you have the zoom zoom in all the way it'll you know it'll gray out when you're fully zoomed in you have the zoom to title so for these contracts all the inf relevant information is right here in this bottom right corner for the for the engineers and um, you know if you're viewing if you're trying to flip through a thousand documents it's kind of inefficient to have to scroll go to the next picture scroll so <clears throat> they can press on this right here and it'll scroll to this bottom right corner for them um, and that's where those hotkeys come in. Let's go look at those again. So the hotkeys here, if you press space bar, it'll also zoom to the title. So space bar zooms to the title. Um, you also have, um, you know, zooming to a specific area. You can kind of pan like this, you know, just a different option. And then you can also rotate um, images. So, and for the rotate, um, for the rotate images op option, that'll actually what I'm doing is I'm dy dynamically calculating the center of your document and then pivoting at that center so that it rotates at the center rather than, you know, rotating here, 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 um, etc. So then this is your query right here. And so when you press on next, it'll go to the next document, next document, next document, you go to the previous. And what I, what's nice about that zoom to title, so if we press on this or press the space bar, if we go to the controls, um, there's actually hotkeys set up for these. So, you know, previous picture, left arrow key, next picture in the query. So right now I'm going to use my arrow keys. And it'll stay zoomed in to the bottom right. So it'll, what is happening is it's calculating, again, that bottom right section, and it's flipping through. So you could flip through a 1,000 documents, like, all right, this is the one I need, you know whatever. Um, let's open up a new document. And what's cool is you can, you know, pull these out. And it kind of functions like a desktop, you see how, you know, the Z index is moving. So, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll feel like a desktop application, because you know, your document is jumping to the top, you can redock them here. Let's go to this one, and you can query through your documents again. Um, so that's pretty much everything for this um, application here. That's, if you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Um, I'm going to show you guys a little, or actually, let's update this. So right here, if I click on facility, there's nothing here. So I'm going to show you guys how you actually update data into this application, show you guys how easy it is. So I go to the site administration, click on main. This is the main uh, administration page for this application. So let's go to facilities. Um, Right now we have no facilities. Let's add a facility. And we'll just name it test one. Click save. There it is. If we reload this app, uh, reload the page, go to facility, boom, it's right there. Um, so boom, it's right there. Um, so I'm gonna delete this because you know it's not a real facility. Boom. So let me show you guys how you can add um, images, how easy it is. So if you want to add an image, you have contracts here. You can link them like this. 
your drawings, your dates. You can add new contracts and link them to that new facilities. Um, add your images here. You know, service lines, disciplines, subdisciplines. Um, you know, it'll filter for you, make it easier for you. Um, your select streets, you know, your GIS stuff. That's this section right here. Um, that's pretty much uh, what you got to know for the, you know, for the admin panel. I'll kind of flip through a couple of these so you can kind of see how it looks like. You have contract name, contract. It's pretty self-explanatory, easy to add data, um, you know, to the system. Very, very dynamic. Um, nothing is hard-coded, making it easier for you guys to customize, you know, your management system. Also, there's also this little search that I build right here. So this right here is just basically loads in everything in your database into this, um, you know, grid based, um, you know, into this table. You can do run advanced uh, queries. So you can do begins with, contains, ends, etc. With with any of these fields, these are all customizable again. Um, you know, like let's do an example. Let's search for that contract one zero zero five. There it is. You click on this and it'll open that image. Um, you can also hide columns um, if you'd like. <clears throat> and there's also the other document types. There's no document types in the system right now. Um, you can filter. Um, none of them have dates attached to them right now, but uh, soon they will. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, if you guys are interested more in the implementation of this application, just uh, let me know. I can kind of run you guys through the API, the back end, the front end, et cetera, et cetera. Anyways, uh, thank you, guys. Bye.